My Wii is like... You can't handle this? I'm like, you better. So you may not have known that I owned this, and I almost forgot that I owned this, and then I saw it, and I even I did the training level off camera to see if things were working. No. No. Investigator name? Oh, I guess it'll just be me. Oh boy. Everybody's talking true crime. Well, I'm doing some fake crimes, but I'm going to investigate them. Hopefully my Wii can handle this. Ooh. Let's pay attention. Oh, wait, no, this is Grissom. Okay. Welcome to Graveyard. Thanks for coming in on such short notice. Have you met Nick Stokes? Hey, night shift's been wild all week. We could use another live body. Nick's one of our finest CSIs. I think you'll work well together. No time for a tour of the lab, though. There's a fresh crime scene waiting for you. Let's use the mobile analysis unit. Fine. Just be sure to fill it up afterwards. If you leave now, you should arrive at daybreak. Good luck out there. Thanks. Okay, partner. Ready when you are. I... It's been so long. I forgot. Okay. Wait, first things first. Um... Eh. Subtitles. Um, that's it. That's it. I don't want to mess with anything else. Okay, so I do have to go somewhere, but in the meantime, I just want to can I talk to you. No talking right now. No looking right now. But yeah, this is so. This is exactly what it looks like. It's a CSI game, and uh, it's Chris and Nick. We watched this show so many years ago, so I really don't remember. All the dynamics of anything. I just remember he was the bug guy. I like bugs. Um, I found that stuff interesting. All right, locations. Ooh, we got a crime scene. Go to alley. Let's do that. I don't know if you can hear my Wii from there. It was chugging. It was like... LVFD notified us as soon as they put out the fire. Our Vic set former cabbie, current charcoal briquette. Oh, really? Okay. Some sensitivity. Some sensitivity is needed here. Okay, let me just see. First off, let's check out the car. Let's check out the entire car. Anything to look at here? Actually, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. 
Hey, looking for a hint? No. I have no more questions for you. That's just gonna be my voice because it's my voice. Even, even though it's exaggerated. Alright, nothing that way more. Okay. Is there anything with the tires? These stickers? I've sealed the car doors to preserve evidence till we get it back to the garage. Got it. So there's nothing here for me. So wait, if you've sealed it for evidence, then is there anything I can do? So I'm guessing they take a picture. Right? Okay. Right? Seems to make the most sense to me. Looks like a flash fire to me. Hot and quick. Fires like that don't happen without help. Jeez. Like a real episode. Okay. I just took this, so I don't know that I need. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I appreciate that this, you know, you turn it in this little thing like that, but honestly, I feel like it would have made more sense for it to be kind of displayed a little bit more like this, where you just zoom to the edges. It would have been so much smoother. Okay, so is there anything else I could do? So we're getting back to the place. Okay, what should I look at here? Ooh, there's places to look at. This. Oh. Thoroughness point awarded. If you search an area that holds no evidence, you will earn a thoroughness point. Thoroughness is part of your final evaluation by Grissom. Okay. S sound, sound, the way that was written sounded like, if you waste time, you get a point for that. Sure do. Looks like this area is clean. Way to be thorough. Welcome. So I can't collect any fingerprints or anything. Oh, it's if I exhaust it, I think is what they were really trying to say. As opposed to just... Okay, how do I, how do I back out of this? Like that? Okay. That was weird. Wait, so... This doesn't go any further that way. Um... Oh. Okay. Aha. Oh yes. So what's detection and collection? Oh yes, of course. Gloves first. Always gloves first. Smells like gasoline, but my nose is not a lab. We'll make sure. I appreciate that, because that actually makes sense why it would stop me. It's like, no, I can't do anything. I'm like, why? Gloves. Oh. Alright, so... Okay, just looking to see if I see fingerprints or something, but I'm not really seeing anything. Okay, there's that. Anything in here? Look at that critter. That'll put a smile on Grissom's face. See if you can catch it without harming it, of course. Okay. Since Grissom likes that stuff. Um. Is that it? Um. Actually, let's do this again real quick just to make sure. Just by the way, it allows me. This is right up my alley. <laughs> like, if you really want to look every single angle, yeah. Don't you want me to? Like, right now, like, I really want to examine the lid of this dumpster. But I don't think that's what it wants me to do. <laughs> it's probably just like, no. Um, like that ladder. I want to look at that, but I don't know if that's a thing. That's not a thing. 
and one over here. Uh, is there anything else going on with this person's car? I can't do anything here, can I? Oh, let's take a picture of the whole car. Yes, of course. Take a picture of the whole car. That makes sense. Okay, they're making it easy on me. Good idea to photograph the crime scene. Mm -hmm. It helps to provide reference for us later on. It makes it easier to reconstruct how it went down. Yes, you gotta remember this stuff. Should I take a picture of this too? It's not letting me do that. Oh, oh, oh. This is what's happening here. What is that? What's this? Anything? Turpentine. Gloves. Just treat the gloves like a. This is the hand to pick up and like the point and click game. Alright. Oh! What's that? Is that a fingerprint? Oh. Turn it the wrong way. Looks like a fingerprint. And this is a smooth surf. Ooh. Is that what I have to use? Wood surface. Smooth polished surfaces. And what's this one? On paper or porous surfaces. I don't think I need that one. I think I need this one, right? Look at this. Yeah. And then I use the, the adhesive lifting tape to lift up the prints. Isn't that cool? Okay, and that's it. I have that. Um. Wait, didn't I want to check if there's a hole there? There's a hole there. I clearly want to check this. First off. Good job. This area is clean. Okay. But what about what about this? Is that a piece of cloth or something? Eh. It is. Pick it up. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody snagged their clothes on this fence. Possibly the perp. Perp. What's that? I don't know what I used for that. Let me see if it's gonna give me a hint. I guess just gloves. Not the right tool for this. Oh, 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 that's why. That makes sense. Tweezers, smaller pieces. I was thinking in my head, I was like, I'm just gonna grab that with gloves. Well, apparently not. Hmm. Looks like skin. Let's get the lab's opinion. Even skin gets stuff. Okay, let's go to the lab. Anything else? Like the way this was ripped, there's no like... Oh wait, this chain? No? Anything here? Um. Oh, what's that on the floor? Is that a footprint? I just noticed. Ooh, not just a footprint. We have, what is that, luminol? What do we need for this? Not the right tool for this. And it's the tweezers. Or an adhesive mount. Red plastic. Got it. Okay. You can adjust several gameplay settings to suit your investigation investigative style. Investigative whatever. Gameplay settings are found in the options menu and do not affect your evaluation. Okay. Trying to tell me I need it again? Alright, so I'm guessing I can do more investigating of the car later. I think we're good. Don't you? Don't you think we're good, Nick? 
I want to ask you for a hint. I already did this. I already saw this. I'm so good at this. I think I'm done. I don't see anything else on the floor. Can I go around the whole car again? Looking around. Like I said, I'm assuming they just want me to do this part back at the station. So I'm going to... Okay, we're done here. Let's find out. It's like... No. Can't do that. So crime scene. Go to mobile lab. Ooh. I'm gonna... I'm wearing green. I'm invisible. I really wanted to play Shattered Memories, but it just isn't working out the way I was hoping. It's just the... it's too responsive? It just doesn't... When we're done here, I'll get the cab towed to the garage. We'll do the interior there. Controlled environment. Jeez. <laughs> All these exclamation points. Which is which? Okay, wait. First things first. What do I want to test? Fingerprints. Okay, fingerprints. Oh, I should have taken a picture of the shoe print. I'm gonna do that. Um, comparison A. Is the fingerprint from the serpentine cam. Comparison B is going to be from civil records. No. Okay. So, Las Vegas PD. <gasps> oh. You'll want to drag the partial over a full print to make sure they match up. Yeah, I know. I'm looking first. Because I don't think you turn it when you grab it. You just have it, right? Right? Let me see something. Yeah, no, you don't turn it, so this isn't a match. Um, I didn't mean to go back like that. Gosh darn it. Let's try this one. This one is a match, I think. Where is it? Where is it? I see it. I see it right there in the upper right quadrant. Hey, even in Vegas a guy can get lucky now and then. Our prints belong to this Edsel character. Not much of a record. Petty larceny, vagrancy. Psych profile indicates antisocial tendencies. Probably starting with his parents for naming him after a car. Last known address, Phoenix, Arizona. But somehow, I don't think this turpentine can drifted into Vegas all on its lonesome. Hey, that's a wrap for the mobile lab. Tow truck's been called for the cab. Should arrive in a while. Meanwhile, let's take this buggy back to CSI. Are you going to make me? It sounded very really, like threatening. Are you gonna make me? I just mean I wanna see if I can um take a picture of the shoe print. Because I just thought of it. Let's see if it lets me. Do it. No, you're not doing that. Take the picture again? We're right there. Mobile lab. <laughs> okay. Alright, I just I just wanna look at the shoe print again. Didn't really acknowledge that. Okay. Uh first off, let's take oh we can't take a picture. 
What is this for? Casting plaster. I didn't think that was a deep impression. I thought it was just a little print. Okay. But now we have that. That's good. Um, I don't know if this thing gives you a... You finished. You got it all. Or, or not. It might not. Ooh. Uh, no, that's not anything. Alright. So now I did that. Um... Oh, well, I got a check mark now. I guess that means I got everything. So we have Brass's office, Morgue, Lab. This is very, um, chugga 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 chugga. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Let's see. Two prints. Now that I got that. Comparison. Hmm. Let's compare the shoe print. We don't have anything? We don't have a shoe. Do we need a shoe? Let's see from CSI samples. Oh, look at that. That is not the same. Whoops. Oh, this one matches. No, the bottom doesn't match. The top does. Why does back take you all the way back? So annoying. Alright, now I know though. Third one. Completely wrong. Fourth one. The same. Match on the footprint. Common athletic shoes. Common athletic shoes, that's it. All you have for me. Um, I don't have anything else going on here in terms of that stuff. What is this for? Is this DNA? I don't have all that stuff yet. Oh my goodness, so much. So much going on. What is this? What are you? Chemical analysis. Okay. I have this stuff. Analyze it. Gasoline. Okay. All right. So that's been analyzed. Eh. Turpentine. You know what it is. It's turpentine, but there you go. Told you. Blue jean cloth. Turpentine. Turpentine on these blue jeans. So whoever's wearing the blue jeans had the turpentine. Wait, is there anything else I could? No, there was nothing else. All right. Um, nothing else this way. Okay. What about you? What do you do? This is comparison stuff, right? I don't think I have comparison stuff, do I? No. At some point I might. Okay, cool. And that's it. And this is what? What is this? 
putting craft together. I don't have craft put together right now. Alright. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go to Morgan's there's Brass's office. I'm assuming the car hasn't been taken yet. Just go to the morgue. Just go to the morgue. That's next, right? I have no idea. Oh, hey. I remember you. Intro. Hey. What was your name again? Sure, I'll send a team right out. I guess I just have to ask for that. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't even see his name. What was your name? Were the burns a cause of death? No, though if he'd lived a while, they'd likely have finished the job. These burns are consistent with an intense sudden fire. The kind of flares up fast and burns out the same way. Got it. The immediate cause of death? Asphyxiation. Vic inhaled toxic fumes, particulate matter, and vomit. The latter resulting from the toxic fume reaction. <laughs> Essentially, he choked to death. Aggravated by shock and abetted by the alcohol blood level over the legal limit for any driver, much less one behind the wheel of a cab. What about the time of death? I'd say last night between 9 and 10 p.m. Has the family been notified? Can't notify the parents. They died five years ago, driving drunk. Late brother, cirrhosis of the liver. Alcohol. Lovely when a family has a shared interest. I have fingerprints for you, and DNA, of course. Thanks. Running those fingerprints may strike gold, or anyway, DUIs. Thank you. Yes, everything on that table is set aside for you. I have no need for it here. Thank you. Oh, can I take the items on the side table? Sorry, I didn't say anything. I have an unusual autopsy finding for you. The victim was a racist. These tattoos are all white supremacist symbols. So is this gonna like be like the dilemma, like but you still have to do your job? You might not want to do your job, but you still have to. Nope. Feet. All right, I guess that's it, huh? Gloves to grab. See it. Cab driver's shirt. Be nice to know who this circled woman is. Papa had a little attitude towards her, it seems. Yeah, you see, there's two people here. This is a bitch. All right. Um. All right. I don't think you have anything else to say to me, do you? What about items in the pants? Wallet? Other than the usual ID, empty, including folding green. No cash box. Maybe the cabbie was having an off night. 
Or maybe we have a robbery motive. Hmm. Or maybe somebody wants us to think we have a robbery motive. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can... Where's the car? You know what? I, maybe it's in evidence. Maybe it's under evidence. The car. The car is not under evidence? I don't know why I don't have a checkbox on that. I don't like it. I don't like that there's no checkbox. Let's go to this case. Excuse me. Wait, play from blue jean cloth is the... Okay, I think I know what to do. Is it from the jacket, maybe? It might not be. That wouldn't really make sense. Let's just go here real quick, see if I can do that. Oh. There's something else here? What else here? Forgot. Victim's fingerprints and Ed's fingerprints. Who's the victim? Okay. No samples found. There's one. It's the same. Cool. Who's this? So our cabbie does have a record. And it's a nasty one. He was a gay basher. Literally. Assaulted patrons at two local gay bars. Oh, and here's a real surprise. DUIs. One more, and he would have lost his hack license. Alright. Okay, so we know who the victim is. Um, now I want to see if I can compare those two things. But I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a part of it. Well, it's not even giving me that option. Never mind. Fine. I guess that was the wrong idea. Which one is? That makes sense. Analyze the shirt. Turpentine. We've got traces of turpentine on the shirt. Pins down the accelerant used. Turpentine on both the can and the shirt. Links don't come much stronger. Yeah. Okay. My Wii is like... You can't handle this. I'm like, you better. I don't know if I should. I'm like, just do it. Okay. We already know Victor's DNA. So let's see, Blake from the blue jean cloth. Compare it with the collected evidence. Victim's DNA first. It's not the same. Okay. So CSI samples. Oh, buccal swabs. Well, that's not it. Close, but it's not. You can see right here it's not the same. And right here it's not the same. These lines are in a different place. You can just see it if you're looking, you know. Lines are in different places. Nice try, guys. Nice try. Okay. 
No. Is there time to charm? No. This one doesn't match either. It's gonna tell me it doesn't match. Let me see something. Uh, you don't quite have a match yeah, there. Yeah, little details. Little details make all the difference when you're doing a comparison. When you're sure, ask me for a confirmation. Okay. I don't know if I lost points for that, but I knew it wasn't the same because right here even the lines are different. Um. So. I might have screwed up my score, but I just wanted you to see. So I don't have any samples right now that actually match. Okay. Should I talk to you, or is this just like hint? Hey, looking for a hint? No. No, I don't want a hint. Okay. When are we getting the car? When is it being impounded? All right. Case file. Gas can. Red plastic. Wait, is the red plastic the same plastic from the gas can? Because like. That wouldn't make sense, but like. Anything else? Five. Footprint from the car. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Uh, suspect, victim, just one. What is this? This package for me? This package for me? Totally looks like something I should be able to open. Alright. All right, maybe the plastic will be for the gas can. Now that I think of it, maybe that's why it's showing that to me. Comparison, oops. Comparison B. When do collected evidence? That's not gonna give it. See size samples. I wasn't expecting this, but okay. B by accident, I picked up. And it's the one that matches. Alright. I meant to select A, but you know. Cool. So what's the match? Hey guys. Any luck with your red plastic what's it? Our new fish here found a match to some artificial turf. But does this really look like artificial turf to you? Well, it's brittle. Badly faded. Life expectancy for artificial turf? 15 to 25 years. So this is way old. Newer turfs are UV protected. So it's old, it's had hard use, and suffered exposure to UV. Theme park? Miniature golf course, maybe? Maybe. I'll get brass to check out any old miniature golf courses that right use red door? putting greens. Red greens? And anything like blue whites? I got a nagging memory of seeing that when I was a kid. Miniature golf with red grass? Eh, worth checking out anyway. Okay. Um. So I'm assuming if there is something here, it's just like you can still check. Okay, so we just don't have something there, so I don't know why it's, it's still showing it to me as if we do, I think. Crime scene is done. Maybe I gotta go to Brass's office, maybe to see the car or something. I don't remember. I gotta go to Brass's office. Very dramatic. Hey, what's up? I'm not really sure. But we'll see. Hey, Brass. Um, I'm not sure if I need you, but let's, let's click on you. Eh. 
Oh, do we have info on SL Deadpool's current whereabouts? We've confirmed Ed is no longer at his Phoenix address, but the PD there has no lead on any subsequent address, much less a current one. But I think we know he was somewhere in Vegas last night. Okay. Has the cab been transported to the garage yet? Yes, this is what I was wondering. Still working on that. Shouldn't be much longer, though. Can you locate any old miniature golf that used to that use red putting greens? I'll give it a shot. Check back. Okay, so this is the research. Okay, got it. Uh, do I need a warrant? I'm gonna need more information first, probably, before I can do that. Still no car. Let's go to the lab. No, it can't be something here. Like, I don't understand. Going back to Cross's office just to see if I should ask for the warrant. Oh, any luck finding our miniature golf course? That was quick. Yeah, if you can believe it. Two using red artificial turf. One's been abandoned for a good long while. You can go ahead and check that one out for trespassers, and if you find anybody, come on back and I'll get you a search warrant. All right, well, I have a new place to go. Totally forgot how this game works. Go to abandoned mini golf course. I don't think I did anything with the shoe. I don't have boots. It's like, oh, it's just common. Okay. Maybe that'll come up. What do you that? know? This is the first time I got the windmill hole in one. That was quick. So. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Is your name Edsel Danville? Close, dude, but no cigar. They call me Ed Freeborn. Is in Born Free, like the old song, Free is the Wind. You do realize you're trespassing. Not trespassing, passing through. Yo, since when is Vegas a police state? Chen Darms in this town ought to know all about citizens having a bum run of luck. Bum is right. Let me just look around a little bit. If I can. Anything to see here? Anything else? Dude, that's all you get now. No? I don't want to talk to you, man. You know what? Maybe I come back here later. Maybe that's what happens because I don't have a warrant. So maybe that's what it is. A warrant of an abandoned place? I don't know how that works. Can I get a warrant? At Danville? Okay, both. Suspect warrant to bring in Ed Fingerprints Danville. at the crime scene and his record? Yes, indeed. I'll see your warrant and raise it an APB. Thank you. I already know where he is. Can we get a warrant to search the miniature golf course? That property's been in litigation since the Rat Pack was still in town. I'll see what I can do, but it may take some time. Dick. All right, well, fine. Did they bring the car yet? Let me ask. Once you got enough evidence, I'll hit up a judge. I wanted to ask about the car, though. Or are you not the one to ask? No, you were the one to ask. So do I go back to the golf course to arrest? Oh, I guess I do. Are you aware that you look exactly like Ed Danville, who has a police record? Whoa, 
That is eerie. But then they say everybody's got a doppelganger. Well, let's go downtown for a little talk. Somebody who looks just like me has some questions for you. Oh, well, hi. Can I talk to you guys too? Alright, well, let's just do this instead. Let's try the name one more time. Are you Edsel Danville? I already told you, my brothers. The correct designation is Freeborn. Ed Freeborn. Yeah, right. Like the old song. I wonder what song your fingerprints will sing if we check them. Now that is cold. Stone cold. Hey, this is supposed to be a town that understands second chances. I'm just one more dude trying to start over. Finish my parole clean. Check it out, you don't believe me. How did your fingerprints turn up in a can of turpentine that was used to set a cabbie on fire? Well, you know what? Let's ask you this first. So, Mr. Danville, where were you between 9 and 10 last night? At the Windmill Suite, the miniature golf park. Did anyone see you at the Windmill Suite? Why don't you check with the couple hundred golfers who played through last night? Hey, you don't pick some deserted tourist trap to crash in because you're looking for company. How did your fingerprints turn up on a can of turpentine that was used to set a cabbie on fire? My what on where? Mm -hmm. He's dead, by the way. Technical term for that's homicide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know a damn thing about any cabbie or fire or... Where the hell this go down? Outside of Foundry. Big metal sculptures are stored there. Oh, yeah, sure, I've been there. See, I've been helping these crazy artsy-fartsy gals put up flyers for some whacked-out project of theirs. I've been helping them on this art deal, helping build it. So yeah, we used our share of turpentine on the thing. Probably got that crap all over me. Oh boy. Well, if that isn't convenient. These gals are, well, they're not just into art, they're into each other, comprendo. They've been putting this installation together. They call it a fire temple. They've been planning on being part of this big old wild festival out in the desert next month. So that terp can, it might have come from their path. Do they have names? Eh. Deborah, she's Ms. High and Mighty Tribal Leader, self-appointed. And Liz bills herself as Bridget, the Fire Goddess. She's got a real pyro Jones, Liz does. Maybe she knows how your cabbie got burned. Yeah, maybe she does. Got an address? No prob. Just because I got no fixed place of residence, don't mean I ain't a good citizen. One more question. Do you own a pair of athletic shoes? I'm not into brand names. In any way, I'm more of a boot kind of dude. Isn't that enough questions for now? Kind of like to get back to the old windmill suite before someone else claims it. Ah, uh, sorry, Ed. You're not charged with anything right now. But you'll have to make do in the uh, holding cell suite till we've checked out your story. I'm sick of being done answering questions now. What? What are you talking about? Dude, that's all you get now. Just checking. Okay. Do you have the car yet? No, we got the tribal leader house. Well. Oh. Let's go to their house. Or her house. Look familiar? Picture her with her face circled on a scorched flyer. Yep. Got it. Alright, hey. I'm just Nick Stokes, place. Las Vegas Crime Lab. My partner and I have a few questions for you. Well, sure. But could you tell me what this is about? The crime lab doesn't drop by every day. 
Do you know an Edsel Danville? Isn't that a funny name? I'm sure I'd remember it if I'd heard it. And I don't and haven't. Ed Freeborn. Maybe an Ed Freeborn. Oh, him. He's just this, this character who crashed with us a while. Why? What's he done? What's going on? Mr. Freeborn claims he was working for you on an art project. Is that right? That I clicked. Not really, but sort of. Look, he's just a guy who answered one of our flyers. We're after people to join our, well, we call it a tribe. For an art festival out in the Black Rock Desert. God. Here, take oh. one of our flyers. Burning Man, it's Burning Man. Ed was down on his luck, and my roommate Liz, she's always been a soft touch. So, anyway, we gave him some space to crash in. Only I insisted it would be an exchange for him working on our installation. After a few days, I didn't like much having him around. But Liz insisted. She's got a streak. Stubborn. Liz? Your roommate? Yes, yes, she's my, uh, partner. In the art project? But let me think. Since we tossed Ed out on his backside a couple days ago, well, we haven't seen hide nor hair of him. Or anyway, I haven't. Which is no great loss. Did you say we could take a flyer? If you don't mind, we'll take you up on your offer to take one. I see him right over there. Do you, partner? Excuse us a moment. I'm gonna take this flyer because it seems to match. It matches. Okay. Uh, fingerprint. No fingerprint. Okay. No fingerprint, not yet. Can I get that bug for Grissom? Not yet, I guess I have to do it later. Should I tell him she's got a bug? Okay, so I can't do anything here yet. Funky little house. Any idea how one of your flyers got in the shirt pocket of a dead cabbie last night? Wow. Jump right to it. Shirt pocket? Dead? What are you talking about? Did you say cab driver? Yes, someone burned him alive. I'm just gonna tell you. Oh, how, how horrible. Oh. But surely that doesn't have anything to do with me, with us. Liz and I, we put flyers everywhere, all over Vegas. An art tribe needs artists, and we plastered the place, so Is this- trying to frame you? Abby, he could have got that flyer just about anywhere. Possibly, but on this particular flyer, your face is circled with the word, if you excuse me, bitch beside it. Does a cab driver named Bob ring a bell? Uh, it, it doesn't ring anything. So he scribbled something nasty next to a woman's picture. So what? Do I have to tell you there's an army of weirdos out there? Misogynistic a-holes? Look, I have work to do. Art to create, actually. Are we done? That's all for now. Could you tell us where to find Liz Sunderland? <gasps> Sunderland? Liz? Why, she's in the backyard working on her, uh, our fire temple. She's in the back? Their fire temple. Well, hello there. Crime scene? Are you kidding? How much are you people going to put me through? I reported it myself. It was a damn accident. And hell, I said I'd pay for the goddamn fence. 
sorry. I don't mean to lose it or anything. But our neighbors are born-again tight asses who don't exactly love living next door to an alternative lifestyle couple. Why don't you explain to them what discrimination means and tell them to back the hell off? Oof. So she's misunderstanding why I'm here already. I mean, that could always be a tactic. I don't think it is in this case. I feel like that other guy is being dirty. Okay, that's the end of in here. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be turpentine. Nice size. Same brand of turpentine as we found at the scene. We all need a warrant to take this. Yeah, can't do anything with that. I can just see it. We don't have permission for this yet. Oh, okay. Good to know that. I'll take that though. Bug progressum? Can I take that? Who's gonna stop me from taking a bug? I couldn't take one in her house, I guess. Can't do that yet. You can't. It's like you can't do that. I'm gonna look real quick at stuff nearby. Hi, don't mind me. Nothing, I'll just talk to you then. Hi. This has nothing to do with your neighbors. Is this your fire temple? Oh, uh, sorry. I thought the fire. Anyway, yes, yes, this is our fire temple. We were planning to take it out to the festival. Were, but you aren't now? What? Did I say... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... just tired. So many stupid hassles today. Anyway, there's still a lot left to do, but yes, we are still planning to take it out to the festival. Why? Did you know an Edsel Danville, possibly under the name Ed Freeborn? Ed? Sure I know Ed, but I didn't know his name was... Anyway... Sure, yes, Ed was helping us out with the temple, but he... Look, he's just another one of these free spirits. He took off. I have no idea where. Why? Is he... Is he in some kind of jam? If you define jam as having his fingerprint found at a murder scene, yeah. On a turpentine can, to be specific. A can Ed said may have belonged to you. Murder? Look, I can't believe Ed would say anything like that. Are you saying he tried to blame something on me? No. No way, no way in hell. I'm not a fan of your necklace. I don't know if you know what that looks like, my dear. Considering the guy who got killed? I don't know. Why is that? Well, you get to know people after a while, you know? And I know Ed, and Ed just wouldn't. But you do use serpentine in your work. Well, what do you think? I'm an artist. Look at how much painting I have to do. If you're a detective, see if you can deduce if I'd have a use for turpentine. Hmm. Did you know Bob Kastner? Bob is the bastard who's been harassing Deborah. He's a Neanderthal with a taxi cab. She said she didn't Why know Why are him. you asking me about that lowlife? That lowlife? Is the victim someone burned to she death? She said in a she didn't know him. Using the accelerant turpentine, his remains were discovered in the foundry yard in the commercial district, not far from here. That's that's sick. That is really sick. Is he? You mentioned murder before. He's dead. He's the murder victim. Oh, God. I can't say I'm sorry he's gone, but I wouldn't wish a death like that on anybody. Where were you between 9 and 10 last night? Let me think. Uh, 9 and 10, well... I would have been out walking. I do that a lot. After dark, when it's cool. Alone? After dark? Yes, alone. 
Why not? I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Again, convenient. Did anyone see you walking? Maybe, I don't know. I didn't stop and chat with anybody or anything. Or see anybody else out walking. Sometimes I just like to be by myself. Like now, for instance. Are we through here? I have one more question. Not my cell. Must be yours. Hey, Sarah's in the garage. Wanted me to let you know she's got the cab ready. Brass out. Okay. Okay, partner. You heard the man. I'll follow your lead. You been to the garage yet? Let's just finish this. What's in the room behind the fire temple? Well, eventually it'll be our worship room. Where we pay homage to the goddess of fire. Right now it's storage space. For my art supplies. Mind if we take a look inside? Yes, I mind. There's nothing back there but an altar, which nonetheless is something precious and private to us. I've already told you it's a mess right now. Just a bunch of paint and other junk. Murder you investigation. I'd like you people to leave. All of this is very disturbing, and I really have had quite enough. Understood. And we appreciate your time. We'll talk again. But until then, don't leave Vegas. Oh, I can't ask the other questions? Wait, can I just tell her? Can of your turpentine with Ed's prints on it was at the crime scene. I said before, Ed's been helping us out with my, uh, our fire temple. What, you think I'm the only artist in Vegas who uses that brand? But the picture. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do anything else here right now. I have to get a search warrant. I will. Alright, so now we go to the garage. This is quite an investigation. My goodness. There you are. I've already pulled out the front seat. The rest is all yours. She pulled it right out. Think. Right. Right. I want to take a peek at this car. In. Ooh, what's this? I can't see what it is, but I'm going to. Where's my gloves? Flashlight, I guess? Should I do flashlight? Oh. You got matches? Okay, so I want to collect the matches. Can we get like a light in here? Why do I have That's that? That's a gay bar flashlight? over on East Sahara. A trendy one. Or so I hear. Okay, you're into it, whatever. I'm not gonna judge you. Enjoy your gay bar. I want to get prints on paper. 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 Eh. Okay. That's fingerprint for the matchbook. Oh. Why are you just standing there like that? You're freaking me out. I can't see anything again. The flashlight. Ooh. Is that a match? It's a match. Do we get tweezies? Tweed. Use match. Am I gonna see anything? Can I see anything? I think that's a fingerprint right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need all the porous surfaces. Right?
Too bad it's only a partial print. Still, pardon the pun, we may get a match. All right. Um, anything else over here? What about here? Okay. GPS. Where was he heading? Should I pop it out? Ah, GPS device. Should be able to download our cabbie's route directly from this. Okay, see exactly where he went. Um, anything else going on inside the car? I'm not really seeing much. dark in here. Oop. Let's, look at the, let's look at the seat. What is that? Is that a lighter? It is a lighter. Grab it. I guess it's good that I don't change the brightness because I have to use this flashlight anyway. Okay, there's the fingerprints. Um, on wood on smooth polished surfaces. Like this counter. Right? Mm -hmm. Hey, looking for a hint? No. I was just confused as to what happened there. Okay, so I got all the things I need to get from this. What about you? Hi. What's up, Sarah? My shift's over, but I'll watch for a while. Doors are propped up over here for you to look at. Front seat's over there, too. Have a ball. Oh, there are doors, too. I didn't even notice. Can I do anything with these? Like, here's a door. Here's a door. Here's a, here's the. Here's another door. Where's this bank receipt? Okay. There's something written on the back, maybe? No, it's just a bank receipt. From receipt to recent deposit. Okay. So you recently deposited some money. Oh, bug. Rip. Let's make a chip or bug. Um, this is nothing else going on here. Fingerprint, no nothing. Thought it was green for a second. Changed its mind. Screen, no. Can you give us a hand? I'm not lifting a finger. Too much fun watching you. Oh, that's it? She's just being a smart ass about it? Okay. I think I finished. I don't think there's anything else to look at.
Yes, a little glitchy. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I want to go back to the lab. I want to go back to the lab and process some things. Just to see what's going on with that. Oh yeah, I finished that anyway. Okay, so... Let's go back to the lab. Chugga chugga. Chugging away. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Uh, fingerprint. Now I have something new. A couple of them. I've got the matchbook. Uh, let's compare it to who? Ed's fingerprints. Alright, fine. Doesn't match Ed's fingerprints. Huh. Is it nice to take those fingerprints? No. Huh. Oh, look at that. Okay. That is a match. That's a match. Who is it? Oh, we'll match. Record of fire related misdemeanors. Most recently, fire damage to her neighbor's fence. This places our friendly neighborhood fire goddess in the cab sometime before the fire. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so now I have to compare something else. This which is almost definitely going to be the same. Huh. Partial print on the used match, though. I have a feeling. It's going to match Ed's fingerprints. Right? Yeah, it's gonna, right? Let's see if I can find that spot. I found it. It's hid. It's right here. Right there. Eh. It's right there. Yeah, he's trying to frame her or Good they job, were together. Partner. Is that their house? What's cooking? Hey, Gris. Cooking up a storm in here. Our partner just confirmed the match matches our current holding cell celebrity, Ed. So there's evidence of Ed Danville both inside and outside of the cab. Coincidence? Could be. I've seen stranger things happen. And we've got a few other leads. Kind so of what exactly did Ed light up with that match? We'll find out. First of all, we'll see if he smokes. And I don't even care what. Later, Chris. I don't care what. I just want to see if he did it. I think he's dead. Okay, wait. Didn't I have another fingerprint? Yes, I have one more fingerprint to compare. It's on a lighter. That's her. No. There it is. Who is it? Print belongs to a Randall Watchy, a convicted pedophile. H hold on a minute. Records uh. show Randall was put away a month back. I don't figure he was catching cabs from his cell block. Just a coincidence. His later just happened to be there. Special search. 
Okay, that makes sense. You pass device. Analyze. GPS log has Bob driving through town before making his last stop of the night. Or ever. There are security cams all along this route. Good chance one may have picked up our perp. I'll ask Brass to go after any footage. Cool. Alright. So you do that. And I have one more thing to search. And it's the bank for the deposit. The bank receipt. Analyze Bob Kastner. Now this is interesting. Looks like our cabbie deposited a check for $500, written to him by Deborah. We need to find out how somebody harassing a party winds up getting payment from that party. Blackmail? Yeah, probably what it was. So in the meantime, See if there's anything to, to talk to Brass about. Hey there. Hi, Brass. Oh my gosh. Hey. Do we have the warrant to search the miniature golf course? Not yet. Check back. Can I get a warrant? Deborah Finch. Can we get a warrant to search Deborah Finch's Direct house? Direct evidence of Liz inside of the cab. Both ladies a possible source of turpentine. And the cat's yes. history adds fuel to the fire. Exactly. Let me talk to that guy again. He's on his way to interrogation now. Good. I want to talk to him about Deborah and Liz. See if he's got any more information. Of course, he's going to say nothing. When and why were you in Bob Castner's cab? Who and where? Slow down, my brother. The cabbie who was set on fire last night. Take a step back before you go blaming that on me. I took a cab a couple of days ago, Saturday, I think. But I didn't ask the guy his name. Maybe it's your guy, maybe it ain't. I found a used match with your print on it in the cab. So maybe it is the cabbie who got burned, but so what? I smoke them when I got them, but what's that meme in the great scheme? It's not covered. What's a homeless drifter doing in a cab? Now that is harsh. I do odd jobs for cash. I can afford the occasional ride. Anyway, those lesbos, pardon my French, they were climbing all over each other. And not in a good way. Liz, she was all pissed off at Deb for God knows what and raving on about needing a cleansing. Next thing, Liz is lighting some pagan ritual fire that got way the hell out of hand and damn near burned the neighbor's fence down. Anyway, I tried to help put the thing out, and for my trouble, got Liz climbing all over my ass, also not in a good way. She said, get out, get the hell out of here, all freaked out, and man, I got... This cab was on the corner, and I just grabbed it and told the cabbie, stop at the nearest bar. What bar? The random room, it's called. What time was that? Oh, no. What time was that? Oh, around four, maybe five. Closer to five, I think. How did you send your eyebrows? When do you think? When Miss Pyromaniac 1999's fire got out of control. Brunt is brutal, man. She is out there. Mind if we take a few hairs? I can spare a few for the cause. Hey, like I said, you don't have to have a 9 to 5 to be a good citizen. But if you find burn patches, remember, I was playing Citizen's Fire Brigade for that hot les. Okay, DNA sample. Anything else you want to add? 
No, that's everything. So, when do I check out of that holding cell and get back to my windmill, my brother? We'll get back to you. Yeah, let's go back to the lab. See if we could do some DNA comparison with that skin. A what is skin B Ed Sims. Thank you, look. Would you look at that beautiful match? It matches so pretty, even the top. Confirm that. This puts Ed at the crime scene. Of course, he already told us he was there distributing flyers. He covered his tracks. That's why I reacted to that when he was talking before. It was like, oh. He put himself at the crime scene. He put himself with turpentine on him. Nothing I say is really going to face him much at this point. He's already said it all. I've seen enough of these shows. You know how it works. Maybe I can go back and talk to Liz. I mean, talk to Deborah. Maybe I'll talk to Liz too. I gotta ask her about the matches. We have a warrant to search your house. You don't need one, far as I'm concerned. Go for it. Nothing to hide here. Thanks. Is it true that Bob Kastner was harassing you? How did you guys find out about that? Why did you tell me? Liz, I suppose. Listen, you want to know something about me? Ask me. I did. You said you didn't know him. What did he have against you? We went out a couple times back in high school. He seemed like a nice guy at first, before the real Bob started coming out. Freaking racist, flaming homophobe. Back then I hadn't come to terms with my, uh, sexual orientation. But I knew Nazi talk when I heard it. I dumped Bob's bigoted butt like the day before prom. And let's just say he didn't take it well. But you know, that's ancient history, right? Only some people never quite drag themselves out of high school, huh? Anyway, maybe two weeks ago, he must have got hold of one of our flyers because he started calling me. First, he pretended to be nice and asked me out. For old times' sake, you know? And that's when you let him know about your sexual orientation. Not at first. I just tried to let him down easy said I was in a long-term committed relationship and then he snaps his voice all different sarcastic nasty as hell and he says what with some dyke so he knew all along about Liz and me maybe Ed told him maybe Ed handed him a flyer you'd have to ask Ed about that and then the call started obscene abusive nightmare abuse and I had his calls blocked and then he kept driving up and down past my house in his cab it was awful, really disturbing. I was scared half to death. Did you file a complaint against Kastner? You bet your ass I did. Not that it did any good. I guess you people don't think it's harassment when somebody like me gets hassled. Actually, we do. Of course, you don't need our help now. He won't be hassling you Actually. again. Actually. Will he? So that's what I get for being honest with you people? So that's what you do with a victim like me? You make me out a suspect. Well, maybe I'm not shedding any tears for Bob, but I had nothing to do with what happened to him. Why did you write Bob a check for $500? Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but after I dumped him back in high school, He'd corner me in the hall and harp about the money he spent on prom. The limo, the rented tux, the corsage, how I owed him. So I thought, pay him off, pay him back. So I go out to that cab and say, how much to get you the hell out of my life? He says, not for a million bucks, baby. I say, I'll give you $500 to just go away. And he says, done. And I did. And then he kept coming around anyway. 
see where that is in fact. I'll look around your place though. That tea. Oh, I want to get that bug. Let me get that bug. Here's the bug. I want to get it. Fast one. Same kind of matchbook we found in the cab. Minus the soot. Mm Probably gonna be the right. You're on the right wavelength, partner. But that's not the brand of shoe that left the crime scene print. Okay, so they're not. Okay. Think they're like you're good thinking, but you're wrong. Oh, I can't look up? That's strange that I can't, but sure. Anything else to look at? Okay. So can I talk to you a little more or do you have any other shoes like those in your closet? I only have the one pair of running shoes. Sorry to disappoint. Like, I don't have a lot of shoes. Like, I'm sorry that I'm not rich. Gosh. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. So rude of me. Um, let's see if I can take a peek at the other place. Oh, because apparently I finished here anyway. I'll go to the fire temple. Going to the fire temple. Alright. So. I'm going to search your crap now, okay? We found your fingerprint on the matchbook in Bob's cab. Well, that's nothing to call the media about. I just got tired of that character haunting our house and making a wreck out of Deborah. So I climbed in that cab and asked for a ride over to the nearby strip mall. And on the way, I really tore him a new one. Said if he didn't leave us alone, I'd get a restraining order on his pasty white ass. And the a-hole flares up and his eyes pop out and his veins stick out and he's spewing all kinds of vile, foul crap at me. Turns out lezzies like me are ruining this great country. All the while, he's still driving, but his eyes are on me in the rearview mirror and now he's going about 50. So I wait for him to run out of steam and then calmly tell him I will call the cops if he doesn't stop the car. I'm digging it to my purse for my cell at the time. 
So he slams on the brakes and pulls over and throws open the door and tosses my butt right out onto the pavement, which must have been when and how I lost those matches, right? Anyway, he roars off and leaves me in a rough neighborhood. Thank you very much. Okay, so... What time was this? You know, I'm not sure. Six, maybe? Or nine, or ten, maybe? You can try to squeeze me into your timetable all you want, champ. But the inconvenient truth is, I didn't torch that bastard. I have an artistic penchant for fire imagery, but that doesn't make me a pyro or a killer. Okay, um... Did Ed Danville know that Bob was harassing Deborah? Man, can't get used to that high-class handle for Freeborn. But, uh, anyway, yes, sure. Ed was around all during the time Bob was making an ass of himself around us. And he also mentioned a cab driver he handed a flyer to lost it when he saw Deborah's picture. Later, Ed confirmed our stalker was the same guy. When did Ed give that flyer to Bob? Oh. Well, it's not like I marked it on the calendar. About two weeks ago? Smartass. What was Ed's attitude about Bob? No, he didn't like the guy's nonsense any better than we did. Loudmouth bully and bigot. Ed sort of laid back, but for him, he was pissed all right. We have a warrant to search the premises. Okay. Based on what? Let me see that thing. Oh, hell with it. Just get it done so I can get back to it. Don't question me. Went right through that thing. Cool. Here's your ritual thing. Any bugs? Oh, is that a book? Can't see that? I think you'd let me see that. Um. Okay, that's not what I thought I was pointing at. What is this? Is that a condom? Does there have to use a flashlight for this? What is this? Fluids? I want to see if there are fluids. It's a condom. And there are fluids. I guess I wasn't done looking. I had to click on it. I guess I'll pick up the condom. Okay, okay. We have two lesbians and one used condom. How exactly does that add up? This is important evidence. Be sure and check all sides for trace. Me. That. We gotta collect what's inside too, don't we? Yeah. Just gonna swab. Yeah. Okay. Got that. Cool. Mm-hmm. Looks like somebody was cheating. That's really a damn shame. I hope that's not the case, but like can I click on this? There we go. Is there anything here? Bug? No? Oof, shoes. There we go. You're on the right track, partner. But that's not the brand of shoe that left the crime scene print. Alright. 
love how you just now. Under? Under? Oh, I can look at this separately. Because I just don't think there's anything much to look at. No? Not even this? This is really just pointless. Okay. I'm thinking I'm done with that section. Uh, there was something else. The turpentine. I can actually take that can now. Even though it's silly. It's kind of silly because it's true, it's just a brand. But, are there any fingerprints? Other chatty things. Can you tell us how a used condom got in your back room? I don't know. Neighbor kids who sneaked in for a quickie? I mean, that structure is in our backyard. Could be anybody. But me or Deborah, of course. We like to take a DNA sample from you. Well, I wouldn't like you to. You can't do that without some kind of warrant, right? That shouldn't be hard to get. You want to look good in this thing? I'd start cooperating. What a charmer you are. <laughs> yes, yes. Go ahead. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Or so I hear. Right. Okay, we got lucky and located some security cam footage from a business along our roasted cabbie's route. Sarah will have it for you in the lab. Cool. Did you get that search warrant for the freaking golf course yet? Let's see. Did I finish searching this place? Let's find out. I did not. Okay. Funny how I'll move something to get a used condom, but the thing that was sitting on top of it, I don't care. I'm clearly missing something here. Maybe I can come back. I feel like I'm missing something, but maybe it's just a matter of talking to people. Let's go back to the lab. Oof, what an investigation, huh? Hey guys, your hunch paid off. Your hunch paid off. Oh, hi. Here's a hunk of reality TV that you're gonna really get into. Okay. Can I watch it? Where can I watch that? Is it here? Yeah, okay, video image enhance. There might be visual evidence on this tape. Play the video to watch the whole thing. Then, use the controls to look frame by frame. If you find a frame that reveals new evidence, you can click to enhance it. Okay. When he leans forward, that's what I want to see. Not much interesting on this frame. Yeah, I can't really see what I was looking for. Is that it? Yeah. There you go. I saw that. I saw that. Hello. Check out that poncho mm -hmm. design. We've seen that before. I was before. just asking why I haven't Remember? been able to pick that up. Nice going, partner. Okay. 
You know exactly where I saw that. Is there anything else I can compare to? Or is it the other shoes or something? DNA. Oh, it's the DNA on the condom, probably. And, um, this is DNA. That's from the inside. Do I have Ed's? Oh, it's Ed. Ed and somebody were having fun. Okay. Well, Ed was definitely one of the two to tango. Oh, I hope it wasn't you, Liz. What am I going to compare this with? Talk to Ed. I want to talk to Ed about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I talk to him? Grass, morgue. Yeah, interrogation. I want to talk to Ed. Hey, what's up? I want to question Ed Danville again. He's on his way to interrogation now. Thanks. I'm just going to keep on chatting with him. Because I need to know what's up. Okay, Ed. You know you were intimate with Liz, the fire goddess. Why did I just decide it was her? Oh. What happened? Didn't work out for you? What makes you think I was with that lesbo? Huh? A little condom told us. So, since when is trying for a conversion get you a flag on the play? So, we did the nasty ad in the artsy temple. So what? Don't tell me sex is illegal in Sin City. You just lied, though. No, but setting cab drivers on fire can get you pulled over. Maybe you helped Liz kill Bob Kastner. Maybe Liz solicited your help to protect Deborah from a known gay basher. Hey, Deborah's a major pain in the ass bone, you dig? So an old flame of hers gives her some grief. Why should I give a crap? So an old flame of hers goes up in smoke. That, too, I could give a damn about. And you can stir in Liz Lelez more trouble than she's worth. Or otherwise, why would I be sleeping in the windmill suite? Because Deborah caught you bumping uglies with her one and only? Just a guess. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I want to go and in investigate that jacket. I wanted to get that jacket in the first place. And they didn't give me the option. So now hopefully they just give it to me because you should have let me have it in the first place. Oh, oh. Talk to you in a minute. I'll talk to you in a moment, okay? I'll be right with you. This. That you wouldn't let me get the first time. But I would have collected because it was on top of a condom. Just saying. Poncho matches the one seen on the security cam tape. And what do we have here? A singed area. Let's find out where this poncho came from. Where's the singed area? I don't see it. Okay. 
Cats nimmst. Bitte? Not the right tool for this. Powder for most surfaces, I guess that's what I need. This right. damage could easily have resulted from a flash burn. Alright. So I guess that's what I want. So can I look at this now too? I guess I'm gonna talk to you now. Who the font chose this? Well, that belongs to Deborah. Or anyway, it used to. Haven't seen her wear it in ages. No idea what it was doing in there. I've said all I'm going to say for now. Alright, so I'm going to talk to Deborah then. Okay, so that's done. I want to talk to you, Deborah. Even though it says I'm done. That location. Let's see if you have any information about this poncho. Does this poncho belong to you? Why, yes, that's mine. I misplaced it some time ago. Where on earth did you find that? The temple back room. Do you know how it got there? I didn't put it there. Liz might have borrowed it. She works later hours on the project than I do. I've known her to keep warm in that poncho, come to think of it. Last time you remember seeing the poncho? Really, I don't know. I don't wear it much anymore. In this climate, it was a little heavy. But just guessing, a month ago, maybe. We'd like to have a DNA sample from you. Why not? I told you before, I had nothing to hide. No. Is there anything else you can tell us? Well, this may not have anything to do with anything, but late Tuesday night, when Liz and I got home, things got kind of moved around in here. Not like the furniture had been rearranged or anything, just kind of off kilter. I thought maybe somebody'd broken in, so we gave the place a good looking over. Only thing we found missing was a few dollars. And I mean a few, 15. Any idea who took it? Liz would kill me if she heard me say, but I think it was our friendly free spirit helper, Ed. Um, I want to see if we are able to check out the golf course yet. Or if I have to talk to Ed again first to finish up that little line of questioning. He might want me to do that. Let's, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's talk to you. Let's, okay, let's talk to you, Brad. Oh. Did it say I could and I missed it? Let's, let's look. Let's look. Search. Hey, looking for a hint? No. I guess I can't really do anything here until officially I get the warrant, so. I meant to go to the interrogation room. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, talk to the suspect again. Head to info. He's on his way to interrogation now. Okay. Hey, Ed. You tore your jeans on the fence. They ripped while you were getting away. Or should I say, 
trying to. Plus, we have your print on the turpentine can. Also on the match used to give the cabbie a light. You got wax in your ears, dude? I already explained all this. I had a smoke in the cab earlier. I was around turpentine all the time helping Liz with the temple. Get it? As for tearing my pants, thinking back, that must have happened when I went out to that foundry for a gander at those sculptures. Squeeze through the fence to get a better look. Must have happened then. Why were you at the foundry? I told you before, I was spreading flyers for the fire goddesses, trying to recruit the young and confused for their tribe. You're spreading something right now, but let's move on. Could be you and Liz smoke the cabbie as a favor to Deborah. Could be you're looking at the only innocent party in this fire fest. Talk to those crazy bitches who threw me out. One obsessed with purifying by fire, the other the object of your dead cabbie's infections. Last I saw him, Liz was begging to get back in Deborah's good graces, saying she'd do anything for Deb if she took her back. Anything. And then poof. One cabbie turned crispy critter. Well, thanks for your sensitive insights. That's it for now. Oh, there we go. What does it tell us? Let's do some comparisons first. Comparing things. Compare. The singed fibers from the poncho. These synthetic fibers were exposed to enough heat to melt the ends, but only for a very short exposure. Flash fire. We know the ladies play with fire, so this could have happened under normal circumstances. But our video evidence argues otherwise. How many people have this same poncho design? So is that something I have to look up in some sort of database or something? Can I get a warrant? Deborah Finch. Can we get a warrant to bring Deborah Finch in for questioning? Bob's harassment gives Deborah a murder motive, and she owns that singed poncho that matches the video footage. All right, let's bring her in and hear her story. We'll start with the dead cabbie, who was your spurned high school prom date, a known gay basher who has lately made making your life miserable his hobby. Your singed poncho was found at the crime scene, likely worn by whoever gave Bob his Viking funeral. Skipping the step of him being dead first. How many times do I have to tell you? I haven't seen that poncho for a month, at least. I haven't the slightest idea how it got burned or wound up out in the fire temple. And Liz says the same. Then where were you between 9 and 10 on Tuesday night? Well, we had another fight. Sort of the aftershock following the big quake. If you've ever been in a relationship that had a bad bump, well, you'll understand. Anyway, Liz stormed out and was gone so long that I got worried. Got in my car and drove around for hours That's looking for her. That's what she was her. probably... What time did Liz leave the house? Geez, I don't know. I mean, I was so upset, I'm not sure. Close to six, I think. So you were out driving around? Yeah, yeah, I went everywhere. All the places we usually go, you know? I got home maybe midnight, and Liz came in about ten minutes later. Any witness for the 9 to 10 period? Time period? Really, I don't know. 
I hardly knew where I was at that point, and I sure don't remember now. Exactly what happened between you and Bob Kastner that caused him to harass you? You already know our he high school sucks. history. Add that to him being a bigot, full of hate, who came out of a hideous, dysfunctional family. What it comes down to? He couldn't handle me choosing a woman over him. So finally, enough was enough. The phone call, harassment, the cab, constantly driving by, a stalker on wheels. You flagged him down, you got in the cab, you said you wanted to talk, only you were burning mad, enough to burn him out of your life, permanently. A turpentine around your place? Plus you know your way around fires, thanks to Liz. Bob wouldn't cooperate, so you lit a fire under him, literally. I did not. He was a beast, a monster. But taking a life is not my way. It's not who I am. It's against everything I believe, foreign to every fiber of my being. That's all I have to say for now. And so I just totally just allowed them to say it was you. Like, there's nowhere else to be but here. I don't think I ever was told that I got an actual warrant yet. Oh, wait. Oh. I've got to be missing something. Maybe it's a piece of evidence I didn't look at carefully. But I thought everything had a check mark on it. Should go through all my stuff. Um, no, not this one. Alright, how about... Is there anything wrong with any of the evidence I already have? I didn't look at everything. Okay, trace evidence. Documents, photos. Items. The condom is not checked off. I did not finish. Oh. Okay. I got what was inside. There it is. Okay. Gotta go with something outside, too. Uh. Swab. There it is. Okay. Now that's processed. So now I'm going to compare that DNA to which DNA? Oh boy. Oh, I got everybody's DNA. Let's compare the swab from the outside of the condom. Who does that look like? Uh oh. I think it was Liz, right? I feel like it's her. It's totally her. That's her. To confirm. Okay. We've confirmed Liz engaged in heterosexual intercourse in the fire temple. Yeah, we we yeah, well. Hey Gris, check this out. 
Looks like Liz and Ed generated <laughs> some it. heat in the old fire temple. The fire goddess consummated with Mr. Free as the wind? An elemental attraction, so the evidence says. Wonder who initiated it? Puns for. Well, wouldn't you say that air stokes fire, Nick? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Let's go, partner. That's right. His name is Nick Stokes. That's what that joke was. Now I have. Now I'm going to be able to get the warrant for her arrest. Finally. I was wondering why. I was like, why wouldn't they give... Why would they give me Deborah's? I feel like Liz just seemed... She seemed shadier for some reason. With all the other stuff. She's like, I don't know. It's like... They made... They made Deborah seem more... Sincere. Which might have been a joke, but... Which might have been a play, but you never know. Liz Sunderland. Can we get a suspect warrant? So Liz plays with fire, huh? Mm-hmm. Bring her in and apply a little heat. Let her feel the burn. Yep. Keep on making those puns. That's very important. The puns are well, more important than I think. Fire-related misdemeanors, and are currently building something called a fire temple. Plus, your fingerprint and turpentine were found at the scene of a murder by immolation. Combustible stuff, Liz. We think you killed Bob Kastner. For you, this is all about science, right? Reading the evidence. But you need to look through my artist's eyes to understand that I couldn't have done this. To me, fire is cleansing. A ritual of rebirth. Phoenix from ashes. Would I waste something so precious on a sack of human excrement like Bob? Oh, I don't know. Cause Sacks fire. of human excrement rate high on my list of things needing cleansing. You knew Bob was a gay Those basher just words and that was you harassing said. They didn't really mean anything. You were taking steps to protect your lover. You hailed Bob's cab for a ride. After a while, had him pull over, doused him with turpentine, and did a little cleansing on him. Well, no. I confronted him about his harassment, yes, but he's the one who got violent. He threw me out of his cab. Must have been drunk out of his mind. Guys, get change. serious. Oh, We're artists. Gentle people. We don't destroy. We create. Hmm. Yeah, right. With fire. What time, again, was it that Bob kicked you out of his cab? Didn't I say six? No, wait. We drove for a while. Maybe closer to 6.30? So when did things first, uh, heat up between you and Ed, Liz? Well, that's just nonsense. You know my orientation. DNA doesn't lie, Liz. We found a used condom used by Ed and you. Fire temple gate swing both ways? I think you talked your new lover into helping you do more than just create art. Who knows? Maybe he gets a kick out of setting fires, too. Anyway, you brought the turpentine and the matches, and Ed doused Bob with the turpentine and lit the fire. Supposed to be a scientist? You're adding two and two and getting 48. Okay, okay, so Ed and I got hot and heavy one night. Too many stars and too much wine, and Deborah caught us at it. And she didn't know that I was bi, and she just went off the deep end. I've been struggling to put the pieces back together ever since. Why didn't you tell which her? Which is why I kicked Mr. Freeborn out on his neo-hippie ass, okay? So you just cheated on Ed's her. Ed's a user. A manipulative jerk who preaches freedom and then does everything he can to control you. I'm on to him now, but even when I wasn't, I wouldn't commit... Commit murder. My God, I'm an artist, not an arsonist. <sighs> Okay, so I finally have the Ben and Mini golf course. Can I talk to you about anything else? Probably not. I've said all I'm going to say for now. Okay, last place to check that we have available. So far.
Maybe this is one of those situations where I have to do things in a certain order and I have to talk to Brass first and I can't just go. Which is annoying, but you know, just trying to be realistic, I guess. Yeah, do we have the search warrant to search? Okay, got it. I already gave it to Nick. Meet him out at the miniature golf course. I tried. Oh, and Ed's story about taking a cab to the bar on Saturday? Didn't check out. Good thinking, nailing him on the specifics during questioning. Cab company has no record of a fare there on that day. Okay. Now, I can meet Nick on the abandoned golf course. That was already yet, but okay. Let's go there. To like be really there. Oh, I got a different shot of this now. Uh, search warrants make things so different. Hey, partner. I checked out Ed's bedroll in the windmill. Nothing useful in it. If you had any other clothes, he got rid of them. You couldn't just wait for me, Nick? You couldn't just wait for me. Alright, let me just double check over here now. Look in here. Appears Ed didn't like having a hole in the middle of his suite. Stuff something in there. Man, what are you, the club pro? Didn't hear the ball come out the other end though, so let's take a look. There's the other one in there? No? Okay. Also, I don't need the patronizing. Golf pro. Come on, dude. Really? They pushed it in there. You know it. Oh, he vomited in that? Peace sign. Nothing else. I could just look all the way up. All right. So now I can go this way. <gasps> wow. I can see something stuffed in there. One more ball ought to do the trick. So why didn't you... That was right there trying to do that. Okay, sure. No, it's fine, it's fine. Bug. Wow, your bug hunting skills are impressive. You've got to Future and entomology, got it. Wow, the bug hunting skills are impressive. Why do we have to voice over this game? The other ball that I was gonna put in there anyway. Hole in one, or maybe one more in the hole. Cool. Money. What is it, 500? If they had MVPs in miniature golf, you'd be it, Slick. That's a tightly rolled, rubber-banded wad of money that was stuffed down there in Ed's little bank. Alright. Okay, I made the money. Can I have it? It's so small. Come on. It's very sensitive. Put it in my pocket. This may answer the question of why the cabbie had no money on him or in his vehicle. 
Oh, I should have actually. Let me, um, let me double check. Let me take a double peek at that. Yep. Yeah, I didn't process it. See if there's see if there's fingerprints. Oh, that's a hair. That's a hair. Got it. Easy. Yeah, tweed. Hair from roll of cash. Uh, something else? Finish here? Let me see. I did finish here. Go to the lab. Maybe maybe there's something else I have to process on the money that I don't know about. Eh. Okay, so the hair that was on the money. I'm guessing because it was at Ed's place, we're gonna have to match it with victim. And it sure does match. So it was his money. The hair with the money belonged to our Vic. Of course, he was bald, so I don't even want to know where this hair came from. So we have an arrest warrant for Ed. Okay, but well, what else is there to do here? What's this for? Okay. The money. Does it have turpentine on it? Ah, our dirty money was drenched in turpentine, just like the cabbie. Okay. I guess we have everything we need. So I guess I'm going to... So do I have to go to brass first for this? I thought it said I got an arrest warrant, but maybe it's telling me I need to get one? Oh goodness, oh goodness. Yeah, okay. Can I get a warrant? Ed. Can we get an war arrest warrant for Ed for Ed Saldanville? It'd be nice if I could talk. Better golf score than I've seen in a while. I think we should have another chat with Freeborn Edsel, don't you? Mm-hmm. I do. Been at this case for a while. Talked to him before I tried. A funny thing happened at the miniature golf course today, at hole number eight. Funny strange or funny hysterical? Hysterically strange. My partner here scored a hole in one with two balls. You lost me at hello. Let me help you out. I got a big payoff. You following it? Um, oh, you mean my hidey hole. Well, sure. No problem, my brothers. I can explain that. No, let me. After Liz tossed you out, you had no place to stay and no money. So you came back Tuesday night, you found your hostess is gone, and you helped yourself to 15 bucks. Oh, and for warmth on a cool Vegas night, you stole Deborah's poncho. I don't know what you've been smoking, Captain Brass, but it can't be legal. Neither is theft or murder, for that matter. 
You knew that poncho and the record of harassment would implicate Deborah in Bob's burning. And you were pretty pissed off at the cab driver anyway for just generally being a small-minded jerk. You know, a free spirit like you. You took the turpentine, too. Evidence pre-selected to put the blame on the fire goddesses. Settling a grudge or two, even as you built your bankroll from nothing to something. It was easy to find Bob's cab to hail. Hell, he kept driving up and down in front of Deborah's. You told the cabbie to take you to the foundry yard. When you got there, you doused him with turpentine and threatened to set him on fire if he didn't give up his cash. He gave you the money, but you lit him up anyway. The flash fire singed your hairs and the poncho. Once out of the cab, you ditched the turpentine can and slid through the fence. In a hurry to get away, you tore your jeans. And you ditched your clothes and shoes and headed back to Deborah's where you planted the poncho in the temple. So you got his money, but you really wanted to get even with the women, and maybe with Bob himself. You got it wrong. I doused the guy, okay, and he handed over his money, but I didn't want it. I was just trying to scare him out of being such a bastard to Deborah, right? I lit a match, but I was just trying to scare him. He went for my hand, and the match dropped, and we both got burned. But you did it. And you just grabbed the money to save it from the flames. Be cool! It could have happened that Be way, cool. right? And if it didn't, if I did do it the way you say, then all I really did was rid this beautiful planet of one ugly bigot. And you should give me a medal, not put my ass away. Maybe I was sticking up for those fire goddesses and their lifestyle. And mine! All we really wanted to do was live free, to spread the love. And the bigots of the world, the bobs of the world, they're the ones that deserve to get burned. You said it yourself, Mr. Freeborn. You and Bob both got burned. And where you're going, you'll find a lot of people living alternative lifestyles, including white supremacists like the late cab driver. You'll have plenty of opportunity to spread the love. That does kind of suck. In reality. But at the same time, you can't do that. You can't just kill somebody. He's a piece of crap, sure. Now you're gonna be in jail. Well, that's one dude I don't mind roasting in the can. All this talk of heat, though, I'm ready for a soda. You want one? I'll meet you in the conference room right after Grissom gives you his eval. I actually really hate soda. Okay, Nick? But I'll get my eval. And then I'm probably gonna stop. All right, here's your evaluation. For evidence, you found everything there was to find. Everything. For hints, you didn't need any at all. Not even a little. And at the end of the day, you followed the evidence to a clear conclusion. Can't argue with that. You can't. Outstanding work. Mm -hmm. You've investigated every possible angle on this case. Wow. I'm giving you the highest mark available. Doesn't happen often, but I'm very impressed. And by the way, thank you for all the new specimens you found for my collection. I'm recommending you for an extra bonus. Great hunting. Because I got you got bugs? I wanted to unpause real quick just so you could see this page. Um, this particular episode section case was called Burning For You. And I had Master. Ask zero hint questions. Oh, out of 29, well, you could have done a lot. And, um, yeah. What was the first case? I know it gets harder later, and it's been so long since I played this, it actually took me a long time to do this, so I will have to edit this down. I was looking everywhere. <laughs> um, again, I hope you enjoyed this, and bye.